as I said in my intro there, NHS is extremely important. Uh, and to have this very large number of Muslim NHS workers feel that they're almost being held back um, because of their faith um, and you know, outward appearance, especially those who are women, that is sort of devastating news, isn't it? Yes, it, it is shocking. Uh, the figures are very high, probably higher than I would really have expected. But um, the problem has been getting worse. Islamophobia is a, um, a rising phenomenon in Britain, um, in all spheres of life, not just the workplace, um, in public discourses, in the media especially. So. I'm shocked at the figures, but I suppose um, I should not be shocked because it's it's a trend that's clearly um, a rising trend. It's by no means confined to the NHS, but the NHS, of course, is a very important um, employer, as you as you said, an organisation in Britain. It's the largest employer in, in Britain, and. Lots of Muslims work for the NHS in all kinds of different jobs, um, obviously as doctors and other kinds of health workers and so on. Um, and the reports of um, prejudice against Muslims, um, especially visible Muslims, and especially women wearing the hijab, um, making them feel uncomfortable, jokes, taunts, um, perhaps certain kinds of silences and looks and so on. Um, it's it, it's obviously distressing to hear so many people reporting mm. such experience in their daily in their daily working lives, yeah. and also feeling that this is having an effect on their career progression. So not just uh, job lack of satisfaction, but also being held back. Yeah. 